Hey guys, Barbara here. Today I'm here with another five recipes for you guys, okay? You can do these snacks for Super Bowl or tailgating, but I'm going to call these Grammy after party snacks because they just seem a little bit more upscale. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Fried food for raisin in it too, but I like these. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. <laughs> <laughs> Jada's gonna come and help me again today because I have a paper cut from a manila envelope and it burns and it hurts. So she's gonna help me with a lot of the hand stuff and on camera stuff too. And we'll just work together. We'll tag team, all right? So let's begin with the first recipe up on the chopping block. I'm gonna use one pack of cream cheese. You can use a couple packs if you wanna make a whole lot. We're just gonna make two of the wraps. Some chopped up green onions, some of the ranch dressing that's in the powder form. I'm not gonna use a lot because it says it right on the package, monosodium glutamate. So it has MSG and I have issues with MSG, so not a whole lot of that, just for some flavor. Um, chopped up red bell peppers, chopped up celery. This is the filling, all right? Uh, um, black olives sliced. I'm not a great fan of black olives, but I'm going to put it because I think it'll add a nice pop of color to the, um, the wraps. Shredded uh, extra sharp cheddar. I have turkey here. I have ham here. You put whatever you like. And we're going to put something healthy, some spinach. And here we go. We're going to do two wraps. <clears throat> and see, the, these have been at room temperature. So they're going to roll easily, but if you do them like that and you see them cracking or tearing, you want to go ahead and nuke them for like 30 seconds in the microwave. If my wooden spoon's not working out, I've got my hand mixer ready over here to make this cheese creamy. So let's begin, guys. I'm starting off with my wooden spoon, and I really hope that I don't have to switch out to the hand mixer. I don't need for the cream cheese to be as smooth as if I'm making a dessert, but I do need for it to be able to spread. I switched out to metal spoons. Now let me go ahead and add some chopped up green onions. You're supposed to add this whole pack of the ranch dressing according to the recipe, but I'm going to do a teaspoon because this has MSG. Now Jada is going to come spread. So guys, I'm in the same outfit that I wore in the last series, and I don't care. And <laughs> if someone judges me, I don't care. Because I like this outfit. I like this little shirt. So we even it out, Mom? <laughs> yes. Okay. And this is the day after the last feast we had. Try to get it in all the um, the whole tortilla? The whole tortilla. Uh -huh. But don't tear the tortilla. Got it. Which she wasn't, but I'm just warning the viewers, don't tear the tortilla. Mm -mm -mm. It smells so good. So you guys can see if you want to do four, you're going to need another pack of cream cheese the filling for both of the wraps are gonna be more or less the same they're both gonna have the red peppers the celery the black olives cheese spinach but uh, we're gonna switch out the meats for them so one's gonna have turkey one's gonna have ham and pretty much you can put whatever you like all right whatever you like to taste off but I would suggest that you go with stuff that has a lot of color so it can pop because once you roll these and then you slice them apart to make them into the pinwheels the color is the thing that's going to draw the people to it okay i checked the price of this at costco when i was there earlier and it's like 29 or 30 dollars for a pan of this and i think maybe they give you like two like of what we're making so it's kind of expensive but it's very cheap for you to make because it's just vegetables mm -hmm. some uh, deli meat and uh, some cheese and the tortilla and you go ahead and roll so get the big tortillas right don't get the small ones so Jada's practicing her roll here and you need to really tuck it tight as you're rolling see she's catching on and you just move the food in there so that you don't have a whole lot left on the counter and it's pretty simple to do you can do whole wheat tortillas you can do the avocado looking tortilla you can do avocado parata you can do anything you want to do to do these wraps and make them a little bit healthier and you can take this with you if you get invited as a guest. Jada's doing the second one fast now. <laughs> if you get invited as a guest to Grammy after party or even for Super Bowl. I mean, these snacks go for any party, any type of parties, right? So now she's adding her meat and this is the ham. 
I'm so glad that Jada's helping today. And um, I can be doing a lot of the behind the scenes and being a director today rather than being on camera, right? But we're, we're working together. So now she's going to put the spinach, yeah, yeah, and roll, and roll. She's catching the hang of this now because she rolls a lot of burritos and she rolls a lot of egg rolls and stuff like that. So she catches on pretty quickly. So wrap it in the aluminum foil or as they say across the pond, the aluminum foil. Stick it in the fridge for about two to three hours. Now we're going to make wonton chicken salad cups. Right, guys, so this is what I'm doing. I diced up some mushrooms. I know they're not shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> Austin Powers. And I'm dicing up some baby dill pickles. Oh, we got name brand. Do we got it like that? <laughs> and then some wonton wraps. These are kind of expensive. They're kind of pricey. Four or five bucks for that. We're going to use some sour cream. And then yesterday I asked Jory to cook those two pieces of chicken breast for me while he was cooking his weekly chicken breast. So he just put regular season on it, like salt, garlic powder, black pepper, uh, no cumin, of course, because Jory hates cumin. And he put some ricotto, Belize and ricotto, which is equivalent to paprika, but better tasting. And he just baked it. So we're going to get that diced up to make a chicken salad. And what we're making is wonton chicken cups or wraps cups. I don't know. You'll see it at the end. So Jada's going to come prep these right now while I continue to do the prep work for the salad, right? Paint. Paint some egg wash on this because we want this all pretty. And then you're just going to like plop it in that like so. Yeah. You don't have to paint both sides? No. Just one side? Just okay. one side. Because they're pretty thin so that I think the egg kind of transposes on the next side. Okay. So then, yeah, I'm gonna make a little cup like her. Can we see? Awesome. So then you're just gonna do the rest? Yes. Okay. Let's pay close attention to what Jada is doing. So she puts the egg wash on one side of the wonton wraps and then just puts two, piece, two pieces in the cupcake tins like this to make a cup. Now we're preheating the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and they're all ready. We just have to wait for the oven. So in the meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and make the salad. So I've diced up one of the chicken breasts that Jory cooked for me yesterday. The um, baby dill pickles and the sour cream. Pretty simple salad. Uh, just go ahead and put um, the pieces of chicken in a big bowl. And then let me go ahead and add the pickles, the sour cream. And we're going to mix. And um, you might need more sour cream. But just start off with a little bit first because you don't want to overdo it. And then mix everything in well and then you check to see if there are dry spots and if you can't spread what you have in there then you add a little bit more we're not going to add any salt any pepper anything to this just the way i mixed it right now so let me go ahead and stick the wontons in here or the wraps in here and we want it to go for about six to eight minutes i almost let them go overdone but you want them to crisp up so put them on the bottom shelf of the oven and now jada is just going to fill the cups with the salad that we just made and even though the salad is cold these go better when you serve them right away okay so these are not stuff you want to make overnight so now look i'm using my slicer that i did a review on i've sliced some onions up and we're gonna make french onion roast beef sliders that's a mouthful but it's good so let me just go ahead and put all the onion rings in here and we're just going to saute these until they're kind of caramelized. So they go for a little while, a good 8 to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, while that's going, Jada is making the sauce for the, um, the buns. And it's just going to be mayo and mustard. And you're going to put it to the taste that you like. We like it a little bit more tart. So we put a little bit more mustard to the mayo. So it's still going. And then Jada's just spreading the spread on the bottom half of the buns and these are the sweet Hawaiian rolls these are so good we don't get these all the time because these are like a treat for us now the onions are ready we don't want them to go too limp and dead but we want them to cook and spread it apart I should have made more onions I like onions so I should have made more onions but this is all right and then put the um the deli style cold roast beef or you can put roast beef that you made yourself from scratch you know you could put it in the slow cooker or the pressure cooker or maybe overnight in the oven on low but i'm using the cold stuff and then the sliced american cheese and you just want it to be all covered so tear it accordingly and fill fill in the gap we're not putting any of the spread on the underside of the top side of the buns because what we're going to do is put some melted butter okay so just go ahead and just drench it drench it drench it it's going to give it flavor keep it moist make it so beautiful 
and now these will go in the oven just until the cheese melt again I have it on the top shelf but switch it out switch it out to the bottom shelf these look beautiful here but in the pictures they look kind of burnt but they weren't burnt okay see the cheese is all melted yes you guys are gonna love these take a look at the finished product guys these are so gorgeous and you need to eat them when they're hot now we're gonna make egg rolls we're gonna use the egg rolls wrap this time instead of flour tortillas remember we did an egg roll last video and we used flour tortillas so we're gonna use mozzarella sticks and pepperoni and pineapples pineapple chunks in some of them not all my family members like pineapples so we're gonna leave you know a few of them without the pineapples so we have the fire going and we're using the cast iron skillet with some oil and all Jade is going to do is just put some of the mozzarella sticks in here. And she's still trying to find her way on the first one. You're always going to have to practice on that first one, okay? This one's already too loaded, too fat. So she's having trouble folding the, um, the ends. But she's still trying. And after rolling it, see, it broke. So you don't want that. So that's a mistake. So let's go ahead and try again. Put a little bit in, leave the ends empty. So you can fold the ends like this. And the um, wonton wraps and the egg roll wraps are easy to handle, all right? Always put the egg wash all over everything. And then roll as many as you're going to need. And you can actually set these on the fridge overnight. Just cover it up with um, a, a towel or something so that they don't get dried out, all right? And then after you roll the amount that you're going to need, let's watch her do this again. <laughs> She's getting better. Jada's really good at this type of stuff. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit slower than she is when it comes to this type of stuff, but she's really quick to pick it up. So then we fry. Make sure that the um, oil is hot enough. Stick them in there and fry them on each side for about a minute, minute and a half each. Take them out with a skimmer right away and drain them. And then you eat them with a dip of your choice. And we're doing avocado salsa. Yes. Now we're going to make dessert. This is the one dessert that I'm adding. And we're going to use one pack of softened cream cheese. I've taken over again. And we want to go ahead and make sure that we get out the lumps. I may have to go to my hand mixer. We're adding some jelly. Not jam, but strawberry jelly. And we're just going to go ahead and get this worked in. And I have decided that I do need my hand mixer because this is a dessert. And I really want this to be smooth and creamy and not lumpy at all. So Jada is grabbing the bowl to help me out. And we're not going to add the strawberries till after we're done with the hand mixer because we just want to fold those in. And the, the amount that I have cut up here, we're just going to put some in the dip. This is a pretzel salad dip, all right? Put some of the strawberries in the dip, fold, and then we're going to leave some so that we can garnish after we put it into our beautiful little tray. And after I put it in this little heart-shaped thing, Jada has decided that we need to dress it on the top with some more jelly. So this is what she's doing. And then, of course, we're going to top it off with the leftover uh, strawberry chunks. See? Pretty, right? And now we're going to add what we're going to um, eat this with. Pretzels. Yeah, very simple. Nice dip for people to have at your Grammy after party. So, guys. So, me and Mom have been trading off all day doing different stuff. And now I'm going to cut this for you. I'm going to cut it. <laughs> and look at all the other stuff we've made before I cut into this. Ooh, la, la. Everybody loves this house that comes here. Everybody. By everybody, it's mostly my friends. But that's what happens when you got a mama that cooks. lovely British product called Pick a Lily, go to bluefield-prod.com for your Pick a Lily dream. Didn't you just say you oh. need to go lay down? I'm, I'm going to check these to see if they're poisonous. <laughs> see what's in this one? This one has turkey. And 
instead of honey ham. Dip it in the pickle lily. What's the pickle lily taste like? Hmm. Like mustard and relish? Yeah. I was about to say like a relish. <laughs> this is really good. And of course you can dip this in anything you want. Mm -hmm. So there you have it guys, between the video that I put up on Monday and this one today, you have 10 recipes that you can use for your next party. It does not have to be for Super Bowl or after Grammy parties. I'm just naming the videos that because this happened to be the season, but you can do it for any party at all that you're having, okay? Just a lot of nice finger foods. I love going to parties like this, where they have a lot of things with dips and you know finger foods and stuff like that. And you pick it up with a toothpick and you just Fill your plate, which is what I want to do right now so I can taste for you guys. And then you just enjoy. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching the show, for liking, for subscribing, for commenting, for sharing. Did I say sharing already? You guys have been sharing the videos and I'm so grateful. And I want to give a shout out to all my sponsors right here on this board. You guys have really come through for me at a time when I most needed it. Uh, come over to the vlog because I'm telling my story as it goes there. And um, you may or may not know that we've been having some testimonies from the little test that we've been going through. So I'm going to taste now, guys, and I'll catch you guys on the other video or over at the vlog. Oh, by the way, check out the review channel too because I have a couple of videos, I think three videos up there. The Pro um, Smart. I reviewed a couple of slices. So now I'm going to go study up on this to see what all this does. So I'll see you guys next video. channel what's coming up next and what's going on in my daily life.